It's my opinion. My motivation lately actually, at times, my motivation has been uh, waning in a number of areas. And I had to kind of think about it a little bit, about what's bothering me about what I've been doing with various clients or just being a sales trainer for 25 plus years at five different continents with all these amazing companies, working with all these great salespeople. Why is my kind of motivation kind of beginning to drain around certain types of projects? And when I thought of it, I think it go, it's actually aligned with what we just talked about is I believe that too many industries and too many sales organizations and too many sales methodologies are based upon old economy thinking, which is extractive. So how do I extract as much from our environment to make my products and give the least back to the community, making the maximum amount of profit? How do I extract as much as I can out of my salespeople and my marketing team and my staff? And how do I mark it up as much as possible, make as much profit as possible, and again, hoard the wealth? Right? That's a kind of an extractive mentality. And then on the other end, as a sales professional, how do I get the most out of my leads, my refer referral sources in the marketplace? And that extractive mentality also means how do I get the most out of the marketplace giving the least? And this is the crux. So I believe that part of this mentality of salespeople today where they're not trusted advisors, they don't have massive business acumen, they're not adding true value to the sales conversation of the client, actually starts at the top. They're working for organizations that are consciously or unconsciously still extractive, not contribution-based, right? There's a scarcity mentality. If I give a bit too much to the client, I lose margin and profit. Versus what if I gave a bit more in all kinds of different areas and I built a foolproof fence around that client with value in a way that they wanted to do more, more business with me, the way that they wanted to refer more business to me. And so going back to where I start to wane in my motivation is working with organizations that are extractive and they can't see that that limited scarcity thinking in their generosity in their sales conversations or even with their own sales team is actually limiting their potential as an organization. So this is why I've been enjoying lately spending more time doing martial arts with some of my teachers, hiking and investing myself, and also beginning to speak more around some of the personal development strategies I've been using personally to rebalance my life, regain my health, uh, and, and really just enjoy time. Jay Levinson said, time isn't money, time is life. Don't waste people's time. And I think that starts with ourselves, but also our clients. So when we show up, is that conversation a time filler, a time waster? Are we just there to extract something and see if we can get a deal with a minimum effort? Or am I there to invest, learn, help, and impact? And if I can do that, I believe that that's an attitude that's going to help me succeed in the future.